I no longer have diabetes, thanks to my God. I cured myself, with God's help, of diabetes after taking two pills with two insulin injections of 30 cc's twice a day. Tried all other methods with no results, you name it, I have tried it over the years. Also spoke to many doctors and all they had to say, was to change your diet and exercise. Their famous catchphrase, if your parents, or even your grandparents had diabetes, then it is in your genes, and not curable, only controllable. Meanwhile, my glucose numbers would jump all over the place, and was told it is all part of your disease. Even after losing the weight, in the beginning, by changing my diet, with exercising, nothing really worked, for I was still a diabetic. It got to this point, from one pill, to two pills, then by adding one injection, later adding another to my daily regimen. Now, 12 years later, two pills and two injections daily has added 35 pounds to my weight. I did not eat, a lot of food and very little meat or fish. All the medication with the injections, was the direct cause for putting on the weight. My arms and legs were so sore from all the needles, had no energy or motivation and to boot, 35 pounds overweight. No doctor ever helped me, only increasing or changing their medications, with the same results over the years. Now, I had to try something else, so I did the research, in order to find the answers to help myself. What I discovered, that my own body was producing insulin, for it was in my bloodstream, so why was I adding more insulin, by injection? The medical profession treats the condition, but never the cause of the illness. They said, I need insulin for my blood sugar was high, but never getting to the reason, or the cause of my condition. I fasted for days, and exercised every day for one hour, and the readings were still high. More research had to be done here, what I discovered, that the insulin receptors in your blood, are designed to take in the natural insulin, that your body produces every time we eat, then mine, must be clogged. What I learned, was that my cholesterol could create a blockage to the insulin receptors in every cell of my body. But my cholesterol was always in the proper range according to the tests that I received. However, what I discovered, was the cholesterol particle size and density is more important. Healthy circulating cholesterol should be light and fluffy, rather than small and dense. Never received or was tested for the density and size of the particles. Why? Most of these doctors, don't agree and have their own protocol for diabetes. Getting properly tested for cholesterol, which includes testing for cholesterol particle size and density. For healthy circulating cholesterol should be light and fluffy, rather than small and dense. Cholesterol comes from many sources, but the most significant is diet. Because it's a natural substance manufactured by the liver, all meats from animals, chicken, and fish, as well as their byproducts, like milk, cheese, and yogurt, contain cholesterol. Remember, your liver already produces all of the cholesterol your body needs. A healthy diet includes no more than 300 milligrams of cholesterol daily. I'm sure we all are eating more than that little amount daily. No wonder, why so many of us are sick with diabetes today. Therefore, your cholesterol density and size is the direct cause of diabetes, is the answer to my question, and perhaps yours as well. That is why, my insulin injectors are clogged in the first place. I decided to go on, a juice cleanse, hoping to unclog, and open my insulin receptors, from the food I have eaten over the years. Here are some facts. Now, where does this cholesterol come from? The food that you eat. Cholesterol is only carried into the body by all meats, including fish and chicken, and their byproducts, meaning from all cheese, even yogurt, milk, butter, ice cream and eggs. The egg yolk is almost completely cholesterol. If you don't use these products, you're not getting the harmful cholesterol in your body. As long as you keep eating cholesterol, your body is incapable of digesting and eliminating it. Then this cholesterol builds up and starts to block your insulin receptors. Well, no one has ever told me this information, and I'm sure your own doctor has never told you. Here are some natural God-created foods to lower that cholesterol, plant sterols, along with corella, avocado, flaxseed, almonds, walnuts, blueberries and even, organic coconut oil will lower your cholesterol. After learning this important lesson, I decided to go on a proper body cleanse for my condition. Not a regular or normal cleanse, as everyone promotes have to do the research, the Bible states, that the herbs are for healing the nations. Vegetables, fruits, and herbs are to be our meats. What fruits, what vegetables, and what herbs? More research and study was needed to find the answers. 
for all these so-called vegan gurus have the same story, buy a high-speed juicer, and start your cleanse by juicing organic vegetables, fruits and herbs. Is it that simple, not so? I have learned, by using a low RPM type, single gear juicer, one with a single auger, that rotates at a low revolutions per minute, typically about 80. The fruit and vegetables are squeezed and pressed. These low RPM juices preserve nutrient value, as there is less heat, friction, and oxidation. Also you get more juice from this juicer, than the ones these quacks, recommend. The ones that these gurus promoted are only high-speed centrifugal force juices, that produce a lot of oxidation, that kills all the nutrients in the juice you are making. Most people follow these quacks and their misinformed beliefs. Who says eat only fruits, or just eat 15 pounds of bananas daily, another says to eat both, fruits and vegetables, and on and on. They are all wrong on this subject. So more research is needed to learn more about God's created fruits, herbs and vegetables. For food we eat, is to be our medicine, so we must allow medicine to be our foods. Not some chemical prescribed by man, that brings more harm than good to our body. What I discovered that man has created many hybrids, a genetic offspring, of genetically dissimilar stock, especially the offspring, produced by breeding plants of different varieties and species, which are like genetic freaks meaning they have changed the chemistry of the molecule chain of the plant, that can affect the RNA and DNA, in the nuclei of our cells. What are genetic hybrid, fruits, and vegetables? The process of genetically modifying, a plant starts by removing some DNA, or genetic material from one plant, then that DNA is mixed with a virus, that has the ability, to penetrate the genetic cells of another plant, while carrying the new genetic material along with the virus, which you consume only when they mix the DNA with the virus, otherwise that DNA of plant will be rejected by the other plant's DNA. If the natural plant rejects it, then why should we consume it? Is this virus good for us to eat? Any virus is a poison. A virus from the Latin virus meaning toxin or poison, is a microscopic organism consisting of genetic material, RNA or DNA, surrounded by a protein of lipids as fatty acid. This virus attacks our immune system, and the plant is a composition of acid base which it should be, alkaline in structure. Something it is not it becomes, a freak, of nature. Now the Terminator gene, what is that? The big corporations, have developed and the US has approved, the use of a gene, that enables all the seeds, in a plant to be sterile. This gene cuts the continuation of vegetable, to make its own seed. Does this Terminator material, used here also make us sterile, in the long term, as well? The vegetable to seed process that all human life has trusted since the inception of life itself. The Bible makes it very clear that we should only eat natural God created herbs, fruits, vegetables that bear and produce their own seeds. Once again, we are misguided by man again. So, beware about all hybrids and seedless fruits and vegetables because we are what we eat and the direct cause of all our sickness that leads to disease. Why would someone juice? or eat these foods. We are all brainwashed today by the big corporations. The FDA is a joke, and on their side, with little concerns about us. It is like a conspiracy, foods get us sick, and then doctors feed off our illness with drugs and operations. But the human body is amazing, thank God for that, and it is designed to heal itself. The human body so designed by our creator will only try, to reject these man-created hybrids and digestion, leaving it totally compromised. All proteins found in all living foods must be broken down into their normal amino acids, to be used in our bodies. If they are not properly broken down, they rot or putrefy. This is a very toxic process, that literally poisons the body and causes foul smelling bowel movements and gas. This is how you know some putrefaction is going on. So do real research and look for, and eat only God created fruits, vegetables, herbs, seeds and nuts, that have the proper pH of 7.3 to 7.45 and are designed for us humans. When you eat the foods in the proper narrow range, the body functions better, the food is electrified, and all is in balance. Far it doesn't, have to take from your body, minerals and calcium, for example, to correct the pH in your blood. When it takes from your body, you are robbed of longevity and good health. Anything man does, is for profit only, with little concerns about the cause, and effect or the end results, leading to an early death. Now for my natural recovery. I went on a vegetable, fruit, seed and nut juice cleanse for two months, eating no solid foods. Juicing only God created vegetables and fruits, no hybrids. I purchased a single auger, 
low-speed juicer, and was not using any high-speed juicers that produce oxidation, that only kills the nutrients. When I started the program, with no pills or injections, my blood glucose meter read, 235. Then five weeks into the program the meter read 81. I continued to the full duration of two months, and now I am free from diabetes. Today I have about four glasses of juice in the morning hours, during the day, I prepare about a gallon of a special juice, that I drink which, contains sea moss, for all the minerals I need, along with almond or coconut milk made in a single arbor juicer, flaxseed, avocado, corella, also add pure organic natural maple syrup, and some of God's natural fruits, like blueberries for example. In the evening, I cook these vegetables in a broth of ginger root with a whole cut up onion, basil, oregano, dulse flakes, sea salt adding, mushrooms, zucchini, and garbanzo beans, with a side dish of cooked organic quinoa or amaranth grains. Important point to make here in the cooking process, when you start with God's created foods, not hybrids, the pH remains the same even when cooked, so enjoy it. I just want to share and tell these 12 million people in the United States, that have diabetes like myself. There is hope and a cure. What finally worked for me was a blessing and I pray, that it works for you. For I was very determined, to find the answers, that helped me overcome my so-called disease. But in reality, was only a condition, for my blocked insulin receptors caused by the density size of my cholesterol, was the direct cause, which was fixable in my body. After all that has taken place, with my own frustrations, and the dead end, with doctors, I had to make this video, to inform others with similar conditions and problems, they are now encountering with diabetes today. You can cure yourself as I did. But, best of all to report to you today, no more pills, and no more injections, for I am totally self-cured of my illness, and my weight is now, finally under control. For I no longer have diabetes, thanks only to, my God for educating me on what vegetables, fruits, herbs and seeds to eat. Most important what I have learned, I am totally staying away from all hybrid foods. I pray my video will help you on your journey to a complete cure of diabetes, and thank you for watching.